Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well we had a question on one of our other videos and somebody was asking about some animated backgrounds that we had going on there. I don't have that site but I can show you on this site. If I hover over this section we've just got that little animated background section coming in there. If I hover off it'll disappear again. There's no coding involved in this today. We're just using the dividers, which are part of the sections of the Divi theme. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'll do is enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and I'll add a new section. I won't put any rows in. What I'll do is just move these down from the top here, or at least one of them down, into this new section of ours. There we go, and let's delete this section. Okay, I'm just going to duplicate that so we've got a little more to look at here. There we go. And if we look at our section, blue tab for a section, green tab for a row, dark tab for a module, if we go into our section, We go over to the design, you'll find dividers. And all sections have this. And you can choose to put a divider on the top or the bottom. And they're great for making shapes with. For instance, if I click the top, divider style underneath. Grab anything you want. Let's have that curly thing right there. You can give it a style or a color. It's a good idea sometimes to match it off with whatever is above or below. And let's put one on the bottom right there. And you can choose a similar one or a different one. Let's choose a similar sort of style. If we roll down to the bottom, you'll see that that's got that there. And let's make that slightly different color. Now, as they are, they're great for sort of breaking up your little site and adding interest behind. You can change the height on them. I'm working on the bottom one here by pulling the height up. You can make it repeat more times so it's more or less wavy. And obviously, if I click on the top one, you can do exactly the same for the top. Let's have a look at those. Divide height, bring it up, bring it down, and add more curves to it if you want. You can flip it around the other way if it's not working for you. You can actually flip it upside down if you want to. But mine's actually fine for me. But to make it animate on hover is really easy. We're just doing the regular hover thing for Divi. For instance, I'm on this top border here. If I hover over the dark writing, you'll see some icons appear. And this is common to all Divi modules. If there's an actual arrow there, we can set a hover state and a regular state. Desktop state is the regular state when your mouse is not on it. Hover obviously is when your mouse is on it. So if we want to animate this when we hover over it, we can go into our desktop state and let's say 0% and it'll actually disappear. I'm using percentage so I'm, rather than picks for this. So I'm actually going to type it in 0%. Now as you can see or as you can't see, it's disappeared at the top there. Then when we hover over it, I want it to be about one and a half times its size. So I'm going to say 150 150%, 150%. As you can see, it's gone down. It's actually falling out of our section into our section below. And that can be quite a nice effect, but if you don't want it to fall out into the section below, I'll show you how to fix that in a moment. Okay, well, let's go to our bottom one now. I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to roll over, get the icon up. For the desktop state, I'm going to say 0% again, 0%, and it disappears. Then when we hover over it, I want to make it about 150%. Obviously, you change yours however you want it for the effect that you want. So we've now got this crazy sort of psychedelic pattern going on here. And it's kind of spilled up into our little hero image at the top there and it's spilled down into our next section below. If you like that, that's great. Leave it like 
like that. If not, we can hide that by still in our section. We can go over to our advanced, go down to visibility, and the bit that you see there over spilling in to the different sections is called overflow. And we can go in there and we can turn this off by switching it to hidden. And as you notice there, as soon as I did that horizontal, it took it off there. And we'll do the vertical as well. That way it can sort of expand and do its psychedelic thing in the background without spilling up or down into the sections above or below. Okay, well, if we go back to that now, to our dividers, roll down just a little bit. There's our slider up the top, or our hero section up the top, and it's stopping right there. So it's going to start off with nothing, just a regular white background. When we hover over it, it's going to come in like that. Now, the time it takes to get from regular to desktop with the Divi theme is actually 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick. I like to slow it down quite a bit for this hover effect for a bit of drama. To do that, you can go over to your advanced, go down to transitions. There's the default 300 mils. You can slide it up. It'll take about a second and a half. You'll even make it two seconds if you wanted to. If it doesn't go up high enough for you, just type in the value you want over there. I'm going to leave that on two. 2000 milliseconds which is two seconds right there you can increment up with the little arrows there also don't want any delay want it to happen as soon as they put their mouse on it and transmission speed curve ease will work I like ease in and out it kind of eases it back out a bit smoother I think anyway okay so we've got that let's save that and you can actually combine that with a general background also if you want to. So if we go back into the section, we've got nothing in the background at the moment. You could put a little gradient color in the background or an image or whatever you happen to want there. Let's just add a little gradient for fun. And let's leave it that color. I have no idea what it's going to do when it comes in. It's just an example. And they've just added background patterns and background masks. So if you wanted to add a background pattern to you, just click on there. There's the default polka dots. Let's put a few little curves in there. Or smiles they're calling those, that's quite nice. Let's make them white in colour. I'm going to take the opacity down a little bit on that so it's not quite as in your face. Something like that. And you can make it a custom size if you want to. So it's smaller or bigger. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's save this and see what we've got. I'm going to save our changes down the bottom here. And exit the visual builder. Now if we roll down, we've got that crazy looking section there with the gradient background. When we hover over it, we've got that animated background coming in like that. When we get off of it, it's going to disappear. And I think I had it set for about two seconds to give it that sort of animation there. That's a pretty eye-catching little feature to have on your site. It's going to get people's attention pretty quickly if they're mousing around and that sort of thing happens, which is what you want. But of course, like most hover effects, it's really going to work best on desktop devices because on tablets and mobiles they're not going to know to tap on it it still will actually work if they tap on it but they're not going to know to tap on it so you can disable or re-enable those with the visibility settings and show it and hide it on various devices so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful that's how to create an animated background effects for your divi thing using the dividers there once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.